Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nick. As always, you can call me Touch Ninja, and we are once again back on our journey for revenge in Mafia 3, my Let's Play walkthrough. And that's an update, so we've reached the point now. Oh, fuck. Forgot about this guy. I gotta take that guy down. Alright, dude. Don't make me take you out of the game. So, what he's doing is he's trying to call the popo on us. We can't let that happen. We gotta beat his ass down. Come here! You gotta keep your mouth shut. <laughs> that foot <was> sweet. <laughs> Eat cement. So what I was saying is, we've reached the point where I've actually played all the early access that I got to early on this year. So everything from this point on is new and fresh and cool. And just an update on the end bomb counter. I think we're at eight right now. They weren't all end bombs, but Rachel slurs that basically mean the exact same thing. I'm counting. Come on, dudes. Come on. You're all over the road. So we're at we're at eight right now, and I'm pretty sure like three quarters of them have actually just come from black people. <laughs> so, but that's okay. Not really, but we're just saying it's okay. So we gotta go meet up some Haitians by looks of it. That was one rust bucket that was on the road there. Maybe I've done down here. A shame because they have two Stop kids. at this bench. But a divorce yeah. sounds like the best thing. If you say so. Heard they're flying James L. Ray back this week. Still amazes me they expect us to believe it was one man who did in Dr. King. It's too easy. Too packed. Let's say he was the one who shot Dr. King. Just him and no one else. What if it's really that easy to strike down a great man like Dr. King, President Kennedy, Brother Malcolm? Then nothing in this country will ever change. Now you struggle and you sweat and someone can take it all away just like that. Get inside. Hey, oh. sugar. You sure looking sweet today. <laughs> that popo is trying to dip into the chocolate. Informers work. Uh... When they shit like and we about to take them apart piece by foot. Hey, I remember this float. If that don't work, for we Mardi Gras. Take a sledgehammer to the whole goddamn thing. For true. Try to isolate him from the group. The thing that surprises me the most is how much these crackers love black pussy. These crackers love enslaving African women. This kid gets street from the start. You do understand what we're doing here, right, Rick? <laughs> right. Dang. So you have the option of turning on and off lethal takedowns. We all want Dixie out of the hollow. Give me your boss and I'll make it happen. Fuck. Shit. Get to the voodoo shop. You'll find the boss there. Sorry about the headache, brother. <laughs> Reminds me of not another teen movie. Fuck. Shit. That is whack. Yeah, so in my early gameplay session, I turned well, off. The <clears throat> lethal takedown. I think I'm just gonna keep them on. They're actually more interesting. Ooh. Too lazy. We're on mission right now. My track to make top, so we will just keep this car that we took earlier. Blang blang. That was like one of the greatest movies ever created. <laughs> Not another team movie. I actually rewatched it a couple weeks ago. It was just as good as I remembered it being. It's kind of like a spoof of all like. Stereotypical teen movies. 
Some of you guys may be a little bit too young for it, but if you get a chance to rewatch it. Do recommend. Do recommend. It's not like I don't know. Of course. Of course. Dumpster diving, Oscar the Grinch style. Yeah, Oscar. You're a grouch. It's like, bitch, you have a little fucking trash can. Poor motherfucker on Sesame Street. No one's helping me. Ladder of steel. Coffee? Nice trick you pulled back at the Haitian camp. Lieutenant Baca was holding you prisoner. And I yelled you I did. It appears we both full of surprises. <laughs> Bad <Certainly> con. Does. <laughs> what can I do for you, Lincoln Clay? I want you to help me kill Sal Marcano. I see. A few months ago, you was trying to kill me. Now you break in here and expect me to trust you? Now that Marcano's back in the Dixie Mafia, it's only a matter of time till they come for you. And when they do, they'll kill everyone standing in their way. Lest I hitch my horse to your wagon, so to speak. I'll see to it that you get the hollow. After that, depends on how things shake out. Do you know why Sammy and I were at war? On account of you going after the lottery? Please. Just because you don't want to face some uncomfortable truths ain't a reason to act naive. Sammy and I were fighting because the people in Dahala deserve better than a two-faced old man who handed out cans of food whenever the mood hit him. Who always did what Sal Marcana told him to do, even if it pitted him against his own people. He did the best he could. And yet his best didn't amount to much, did it? Once I have the holler, I run it as I see fit. No questions asked. As long as you give me access to your muscle, your connections, and a place to hold up from time to time, you can do what you want. Marcana replaced Sammy with a man named Richie Doucette. Do you know of him? Assume he's Dixie Mafia. He's a wooster! Likes to kidnap black teenagers and take them out to the bayou. After starving them for a few days, he cuts them loose, tells them to run. Sometimes he brings out the dogs. You know, for old time's sake. He's a rooster? <laughs> That's how he killed my sister. This is all I have left. How do I find him? It's still dangerous around here for him, so he stays on the move. But his men operate out of the community church in the old theater, Pearl, as it used to be called. He was named after Sammy's wife. I'm taking it down first. One of my men have been staking it out. Seeing what he can learn about how it's being run, you should talk to him and see what he knows. Once I deal with it, I'll see about the church. I don't know, after your Oscar winning performance last time. I don't even really believe if you have a sister or not. Oh, it's the ammo truck. Let me see what you got. Jackie? What the hell? Are you sure this Why are you driving? Few weapons and firearms. Rifles. Mm. Dang. 
a lot of weapons. Automatic weapons. That AK though. I'll take an AK. Oh, too much money. I can't afford anything. Oh, equip for free. Take that. Around in a truck. What happened to your store? Government shut me down. They don't want niggas buying guns. Where are we gonna start shooting the hell out of white folks or some such? Motherfuckers. Tell me about it. Let me know if you see something you want. Nine. So how my early session gameplay went at the 2K Studios was I played to the story beginning of the game to where I told you guys and then they fast forward us like five or six hours into the game into the gameplay section that I posted on my channel. So I do know some stuff that kind of happened in between but just in terms of gameplay I know that you can eventually be able to call in those trucks as well as cars to, at your disposal but Everything that happens in between, I, I have no clue right now, <laughs> so... the fuck is the voice? Gonna keep my gun out. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> Get that round drum. Lincoln, you were sight for so eyes. Laveau, been a while. Wasn't expecting to see you working with the Haitians. It's either this or bow down to them fucking coon asses, and you know I ain't ever been one to bow down to anyone. <laughs> ain't that the goddamn truth? Cassandra phoned ahead. Say you going out to Perlis. Asshole named Merle Jackson runs it. Turned it into a brothel. Let's white fellas come in and do whatever they want to our young sisters. How do I get to them? You don't. Not yet, anyway. A lot of those Dixie fucks try to stay out of sight. There's someone put a bullet up their ass. If I hit his operations, he'll have to come out and deal with me. I got an idea how to get his attention. He got some girls locked up on the second floor of Perlis. Calls them his thoroughbreds. Has them strung out on all kind of shit. He makes a lot of money off them. Go in there quiet. Get them out of there. I'll let you know when it's done. Hey, uh, I'm sorry to hear about Sammy Nellis. They always did right by me. Up to ten. Free the tweaked out girls. Busted up rockets. Don't mind getting a little wet across the river. Alright, if I take this beater of a car, or any of you gotta knock me out. Maybe. <laughs> no way. Right, so if you see that counter in the top left hand corner, it's at 15,000 right now. So based on my earlier gameplay session, our objective is to get that down to zero. When we get that down to zero, then it'll draw out the kind of like the boss of whatever we're doing right there. And then once we do that, we'll be able to kind of progress of uh, whatever storyline thing that we're doing. I originally thought that we were supposed to gain more money, or it was like a damage indicator of how much we were messing them up. But, yeah, I thought I was like, man, I'm killing all these guys a lot, and losing a lot of money, am I supposed to be doing this a lot stealthier? No, but you're actually supposed to bring it down to zero, so, there you go. Hey! Mr. Laveau told me you'd be coming. The girls are upstairs, be careful, Merle's people are all over the place. I will. Thanks. Collect the balls. Walk a little faster. The old 
blade to the heart. I need to get upstairs. I don't know what to tell you then, man. Guess your ass finally gonna have to learn to read then. My dad is my uncle. Twelve. Up to twelve. Gotta get upstairs. Take this money first, though. Get that down to zero quicker. Gotta get upstairs before that body's discovered. Uh, I didn't really hide it very well, did I? Oh my god, that's gross. One of these guys are in the room. Oh, shit. Lord Almighty, look at Where are you off to? Spend some time? Okay, good. I thought, uh, I thought I heard him come back up again. Damn it. Damn it. There you go. <laughs> oh my god. They. Come on, Bumbo. I just want to win. I just want to win. Spread the word. Any woman needing help should go to the Kill him. They was Money, money. Almost there. More cash. I could also raid their weapons locker that lowers the money too. Yeah, the weapons locker. Raiding their weapons cash. Drops down really quickly as well. I'll take a shotgun. I can either continue on here, doing it very slowly, or I can go to another area. Another building. Screw it. I'm gonna out. Get your fighting pants on. That's a big stack right there. Fifteen hundred. Take it. Yeah, pretty much 